Hey, Adam. Yeah. Feels like we're missing something. Mm, fans? No, we're getting those. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. So we have suds. We do have suds. A significant amount of suds, in fact. But not like, hold on. But not like literal suds. Oh, yeah. That is, that is, in fact, what we're missing. Let me go ahead and reach into my handy-dandy cooler. Oh, how about handy-andy cooler? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, just Shiner? Or? I'll do Shiner, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Hey, Shiner, uh, sponsor us. Which I, th I thought, okay, one thing I thought was super weird on that TikTok that just absolutely blew up. Which we'll address. This yeah. is a cold open. Uh, uh, lacking of humor. <laughs> what is with people hating Blue Moon? I don't know. I, I don't know. There were so many like weird... Oh, like, you like orange rinds in your beer? Oh, you must be gay. You like Blue Moon. <laughs> 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 it's so, so fucking weird, man. I just, I just like Blue Moon, man. Doesn't mean I like dick. I just like blue moon. I mean, it could mean it. And correlation doesn't always equal causation, but sometimes it might add up. Oh, it sounds so pretty. Sounds like a blue poon. Mmm. <laughs> well, welcome to episode 51. Chapter Two of Adam and Andy. What? Hello and welcome to Adam and Andy. Hello. I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Adam and Andy, a guide on how to be famous. Hey, okay. I'll accept that. Yeah. I like that. Um, suds, new and old. Yes. Mostly new. Uh, we got a lot to unpack. Yes, we do. Quite There's a lot to unpack. A lot of housekeeping. So I, I think we should, so let's kind of pull the, the curtain back a little bit, okay? Okay. Um, we put up our TikTok on the spectrum. Yes. Right. I got a big laugh out of it. Yeah. Well, and I'm, it? Is that what you were? Oh, well, no, I was just okay. moving over here. I was going to okay. take a drink, but hey, cheers. <laughs> sure, yeah. We made a TikTok, yeah. And we addressed it, you know, weeks ago. We did. So so the way we record, we record once every two weeks. And Usually uh, two episodes at a time. Yeah. The, but the way the timeline of this one worked was we released that TikTok roughly a week prior to us doing that recording. Yeah, talking about it. So by the time we recorded, it had, I don't know, 1,300, 1,400. So not, I mean, not anything to- It was our third largest TikTok. Yeah. And we were like, okay, we got those comments that said no, and we addressed that. Yeah. And noticed something that night where it started to be like, oh, we're at 3,000 now. Oh, we're at 4,000. It started to climb. Yeah. Kind of it, at a weird rate. It, I mean, it climaxed all over yeah. everyone's asses. Y yeah. Yeah. Everyone's. Everyone. Um, across the spectrum. Yes. On all spectrums. There you go. Yeah. So, you know, I wake up the next day, we're at 30,000 views, and then the train rolled from there. A lot of you came in post that or, you know, during that occurrence. Yeah. Um, so we really haven't had a chance to address how popular it got. It got really fucking popular. Um, the last time we discussed it was after the nose, and it was- yeah. Again, yeah, thirteen hundred. Yeah, views. like thirteen, fourteen hundred. Um, we just looked uh, right before we hit record here. Uh, it's at three hundred twenty-one thousand views. Now. Yeah. Oh, and let's look at the the, the likes is is because I always look at the ratio for likes. Oh, so like, okay. Um, so like for some of our older ones, uh, I never like, think of that. We're at like six percent. Uh, yeah. Likes to views. Um. Uh oh, so I do have my Bluetooth on, so I need to go away from that. Um. I'm gonna turn this down because we're gonna hear it play, 
but essentially 86,000, over 86,000 likes. So Good the Lord. like ratio is around like 26, 27%. That's insane. For like example, yeah, I said 6%. We had the ones around it. I think I did the, we had that suggestion from a kind man that said yeah. do the Feel Good Inc. I thought it was a great idea. It was. So I made it, and that one's at about like a 13%. Yeah. Right? That's a good one. But again, not a lot of views on it. So, I mean, I don't know how what <laughs> what to do from here. I'm pretty overwhelmed. We got a lot of emails. Yes. And we're going to read those. That I'm super excited about. He only knows about one of them. I know two of them. He knows two of, two of them. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I am overwhelmingly excited. Like I wanted to, I wanted to be like, oh, let's go through our favorite comments. And there's like a thousand yeah. of them. So I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah, I I tried so hard to keep up with, with all the comments and, you know, have dialogue. And one guy in particular got super defensive. Yeah. Like I mean, that, a lot of, it, it, I think the good thing about it is, well, I always say good thing. It created a conversation about something people don't generally think about a lot. Yeah. So it was, it was entertaining to, yeah. To try and keep up with them, but then once it hit like four hundred comments, I just stopped looking at them. I'll be honest, because I, just, I was just going in. Well, hey, if you like this, go find our shit, Spotify and YouTube. Yeah, and I rewatched the episode because people kept asking, "What was the question? What was the question?" <laughs> we addressed that now. I remember the question. I don't fucking remember. Matt, Maddie asked me. She was like, "What was the question?" And I was like, "Well, I, you know, I can't remember the specifics, but I'm pretty sure the question was, how big was that guy's dick?'" Yeah, it was something, <laughs> something like, like that. that. Some, real, Some, real stupid detail of whatever story you were doing. Yeah. We, we both thought, well, how big is this guy's yeah, dick? Yeah, I wonder how big. Oh, oh it was padlock. The piercing, yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he got his dick stuck in the padlock. Or you talked about dick piercings, though, too. Did I? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember a lot about what we well, talked yeah, in the show. It was about dick, though. It was about dick. I think about dick a lot. Like, a lot. You wish you could have voted for him in the 70s? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, okay, well, I, I mean, we can we can yammer on about it. Uh, I would just say all of you that came over from TikTok, those that have reached out and those that haven't, yeah, th- welcome. Yeah, You're welcome, suds suds. Now. Welcome. Those that have stayed around. I don't know how many day one suds we have. Not a lot. Uh, probably like five. Only, only people we know. Yeah. But again, thank you for sticking around. Simon, thank you. Yeah. Ryan. Thank you. Trey. Trey. Thank you. Anyone from my side? Uh, I'll use oh. your phone. Yeah. Um, Put it but in no, a everyone, precarious spot. Everyone welcome. I was looking at Spotify numbers. I'm very impressed. Andy said we wouldn't break 100 before the end of the year. We're at 150. Yeah, I, uh, I made a bold claim. Yeah, and you were wrong. And that's a good thing to be wrong about. Yes, and I was very wrong. Mm-hmm. We far exceeded that. Yeah, people on iTunes. I'm sure I I don't have no idea how to look at Google numbers, but people look at Google. Yeah, our YouTube numbers went up. Yeah, my mom only listens through Spotify. I've found that a lot of people that are staying around are listening, not watching. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, hey, what if it's about? It's just hey, same content. Hey, just a different medium. Some people just don't want to look at our faces. I I won't blame them, and neither would I. Yeah, well, I think without further ado. What time is it, Andy? Mail time! I'm going to do it live every time. I don't care. I'm not going to do a sound bite. Yeah, fair. Uh, Wait, you know what? Uh, Something about Shiner can just hits different. Yeah, it is different than a bottle for sure. Yeah. But I don't know if I prefer a bottle or can, honestly. Hmm. Speaking of cans. <laughs> yeah? That TikTok got taken down. Yeah, it did. And uh, I'm really upset about that because that was probably one of my favorite jokes I've ever made. Well, the way I have to explain it is I think because we removed the context of the joke and we just have the joke, like there's that part of you like purposefully trying to be like an absolute dick about yeah. Drew, about the hotness that is Drew Barrymore. So and play it down saying she's sloppy and has orangutan titties. No, so I know. <laughs> So, I okay, I get. It. I know I was pulled down, and I'm I am fine with that. But anyway. I did I did think that one comment was fucking hilarious because I guarantee it was her that reported that TikTok. Yeah, I, I think so. I well. guarantee it. Um, okay, so a lot to go through here. How many in total? Uh, I 
About six. Nice. Yeah. Real nice. Did Eli get back to us? He did, yeah. Hell yeah. He did. So I, and I, I excluded that from the count. So he did He did reach out. Um, but Eli. Fuck yeah. Eli, my man. Permanent side of the week. It's like everyone Everyone else's side of the week is side of the week with him. Yeah. Until yeah. you fuck up. Well, don't say that about Eli. I bet he's a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get that vibe. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so. I bet he's a real gentle lover. I bet he's courteous. I bet he waits until the woman or man gets off first. And then he lets himself get off. Yeah. He gets off from them getting off. Oh, that, that's like so empathetic. Yeah. Right? That's a- That's Eli. Empathetic Eli. <laughs> empathetic Eli. E-E. E-E. Yeah, our E-E said. I can't top that. That's great. Um, okay, so we got one, and I didn't know how to address it. We'll do this one first. This is the one that has all the memes on it, and I'll put them up here. Oh, yeah. Um, the one that says, never give up, keep working hard, and keep believing in your dreams with gigantic nipples. <laughs> yes, the man's nipples are, what, about two inches? Pretty long, and then- They are some lengthy here's nips. Here's one that's a, a, a cronk meme. Uh, that where you, I guess you can hashtag gay and iPhone will make it rainbowy. So it's hashtag gay, hashtag lesbian, hashtag bisexual, all rainbow. And then all the gay hashtags are rainbow. Now watch hashtag kissing the homies goodnight. Wasn't rainbowy. Hey, see, it's not gay. Nothing wrong with kissing the homies goodnight. And then this last one, uh, only nine, 90s kids will remember this. And it's just a woman with a cigarette and smoke in a car with a baby in a car seat. That one did hit kind of close to home. Parents smoke? They did. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Mac parents. They uh, well done. They did. Yeah, well done on smoking. Good job. <laughs> no, I've been getting out of it. Um, Keep it up. Okay, so now here's going to become a uh, after this next email will be a treasure trove of new suds coming in and talking about their experiences. Fuck yeah! So we're gonna make this as quick as possible because obviously this can eat up a lot of time. But we're yes, gonna, and we will address them all. We will address them all, and we're gonna get through them in a nice orderly fashion. Yes, but first. Before that, uh, Vandis reached out. Vandis, what did you do? He did something you told him to do. You're goddamn right. He sent us a link to Two Girls, One Cup. You fuck. Did you watch it? No, I didn't watch it. <laughs> Vandis, did he you watch it? I had to get drunk to unbury this. I'm probably on watch list now. I hate you especially, Andy. Turn the fan off as you're... Poopants, and then parentheses is penance. Your, our, oh, our poop so pants. as like a punishment, yes. we would we would have to be back in like the sauna that we yeah. create, yeah. Which it is actually, it's pretty hot in here again today. Yeah, I think that was me just because I was doing like hardware stuff, getting yeah, yeah. Um, and it says, "Fuck you, Andy. Love you, Adam." Okay, thanks, Vadis. Love you, Vadis. Moving on to did we get any dick pics? No shit. This one is from B. B. Like B-E-E? B-E-E. Okay. Uh, hey, y'all. Hope I got the email right. Y'all always say in your vids to send y'all some emails, so here you go. I hope it wasn't weird to say that. I absolutely love y'all beards. They're the okay. first thing hey. I noticed when I started watching your content, and they're just so majestic. I had to say something about them. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that, B. Also, it's so cool that you do the sound effects uh, yourself on air. <laughs> <laughs> Usually people just edit them in, but you do them live. Um, I'm legitimately impressed by that. Thanks. Yeah, be impressed, B. It's all, it's all Adam. <laughs> uh, I just got done watching your Wonder of Nature episode. Classic. Yes. Uh, honestly, can't wait for y'all to really blow up in views. I agree. I can't wait either. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been into podcasts since they never could truly get me to laugh. But then I saw your TikTok about being on the spectrum, and it hooked me. I've been watching your vids ever since. Hell yeah. Even went back a few episodes to watch older vids uh, y'all have made. Might be a bit sappy, but it feels good to know y'all are accepting of those on the spectrum, including myself as a gay trans guy. Hey, B, what's up? Here's the best part. I see. Okay, all of it's great. Yeah. This will will get you excited um, if you're not already. Uh, if it's all right with you guys, I'd love to draw wholesome fan art of you both and or maybe even animate a clip from your videos once I finally get my hands on my drawing tablet coming in a few months. B? Yeah. You know what? B? Make some rule 34. Jesus, no. <laughs> 
No, it might already exist. Who knows? I want, I want <laughs> to rule 34 of us. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I, I need it. I can't do that. I'll, I'll, I will print it, frame it, we'll and like, hang that motherfucker when we, right there. When, it, when we receive it, we're going to like test it for its accuracy. Be like, this is, this is, this makes sense. Make not? sure I'm no more than like two inches. <laughs> if, if we want it accurate. I uh, hope this wasn't too long to read. Feel free to say this on air if you'd like. No pressure. Wish you all nothing but the best. Keep up the great work. P.S. I hope Andy is able to retrieve the laptop soon. LMAO. Much love from a proud sud, B. Hell yeah. B, thank you so goddamn much for the kind words. That is, I, I said this about Eli's email when, when he sent it, and I believe I said it off air. It is such a validating feeling to get an overwhelmingly nice email from a total stranger. So, Seriously, thank you, B. Appreciate it. Love you. Love you too. Yeah. Um, okay, this is the one that you have seen. Okay. Um, yeah. Hello, sirs. I've been introduced to you guys and love your stuff. This Hell is from yeah. John. I'm sorry. This is from John. Thanks, John. Um, Y'all bring up some interesting topics and make me say, what the hell with some of the beers you guys crack open? Just you wait. Uh, keep up the good work, uh, guys. Y'all blow my mind like a blow dryer set to stun. Sincerely, some guy who loves your shenanigans. P.S. How the hell didn't anyone say poop dick? And you know what? That's a good point, John. Yeah. We're, this is, I think there are, you know, seven wonders in the world. Now there are eight. Yeah, that man is definitely a wonder of the world. You know, and if, if he didn't have that testicle pain, we would have never found out. We would have never known. I hate to say I'm proud that someone felt pain for us to. Yeah. No, I, I don't even hate to say it. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy the story came out. Okay, here we go. This one is from Joe. All right. What's up, Joe? Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Okay, not a good one. Fuck you, Joe. Joe's trying to solicit our business. Oh, never mind. Don't fuck you, Joe. But you probably didn't even watch our videos, so. Yeah. Also, I, I looked into the company a lot more. Yeah, that one's that's what I'm talking Absolutely about. Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Joe. You didn't watch your videos. Company's yeah. fucking sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. I want like direct sponsorships. Yeah. People that reach out to us and say, Hey, I like what you do. Feel free to create an ad with this product. Yeah. yeah. But but I don't want to go through like some company that's gonna own what content we create in yeah. accordance with their product? Yeah. Or like, service? Like, I, I'm okay, obviously, doing ads, shit like that, you know, ad reads and talking up a product, but yeah. that company would own our podcast. That's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. No. Uh, this one is from Alex. Hey, uh, Alex. What's up? Alex says, hi, Adam and Andy. I'm Alex, and I'm also a recent viewer of y'all's. Hell am, yeah. Am I a little inspired of Eli? I hope I'm spelling their name right. Mayhaps. But to be fair, I talked to a friend of mine about doing this two weeks ago, and at this point be three weeks ago, when I first found your show, but that's beside the point. Yes, everyone is a little gay. I'm watching your latest podcast while typing this, but yes, everyone is a little gay, I agree. You guys have such a nice vibe, man. I really enjoy listening to you two interact. Hell yeah. You have similar humors to me and my own friends. It's comforting. I'm currently a freshman in college, and being away from them is a little rough, but I make do. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and I hope this email isn't too all over the place. Smiley face, Alex. It's not. And Alex, you know what? I know that feeling of being away from your friends, and it is difficult, especially your first year in college, where it's kind of hard to make friends with complete strangers, and I can't imagine during a pandemic having your first year at college be during a pandemic. So, Alex, you know, buddy, we're here for you. Love you. Yeah. and Keep watching. Please tell your friends welcome, about us. Welcome to Sud Nation. Yeah, welcome to Sud Nation. Tell your friends, Alex, about this. And everyone else. <laughs> and literally anyone, anyone you speak to. Any, like, or no, anyone else watching as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, everyone. Again, yeah. Everyone. Especially B. And everyone else. And, and especially everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this one I actually re- received in the last 24 hours. Okay, nice. Hey, fellas, this is from Hayden. Hey, Hayden. Uh, I found your podcast via TikTok, the Spectrum one, and have been listening to you guys crackwise every day on my ways to and from work. I pray to Jeebus that you two keep growing, and I'd love to see it happen. Stay golden. Much love from England. Oh. Hayden. Oh, shit. 
Adam and Andy worldwide. Hayden, that's our, our English sud. English sud. Yeah. Tell your friends about it, Hayden. Can but, we, sh- I love crumpets. We'll shorten crumpets to crump. Crump sud. Boom. Crump sud. All right. Man, <laughs> Hayden, thanks, dude. Like, seriously, that means a lot that you enjoy listening to us on your way to and from work. Yeah. I really hope I didn't miss any. I don't think I did. Well, it'd be hard to miss any because... I was just going through the list, yeah. Yeah. It'd be hard. But, hey, suds, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It truly means... This isn't for us. This is for them. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Well, now we know how Adam feels about our suds. (laughs) This is for you. Thanks, everyone. This one's for me. That's appropriate, I think. Yeah. For what you just did? Yeah. You're an embarrassment. (laughs) To this show. You're an embarrassment. Good Lord. Um, I have really nothing else to add. Nope. Um, and now it's time for our evening booze. Grab me a beer. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, if I'm going first, I was going to grab beer. You grab me that beer. Squirrel fills man's pickup truck with 42 gallons of walnuts. How? Wait, a squirrel? Yeah. How? How? Why? What's confusing about that? I guess it depends on the timeline. Was it like <laughs> instantaneous? <laughs> like I don't think squirrel it was... calls into his, all of his other like squirrel delivery service. Hey, boys, dump it in. <laughs> I, I don't think it was instantaneous because he was using it as a storage for winter. So I'm thinking it was during oh, winter. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Bill Fisher from North Dakota in the United States explained that he has repeatedly seen the red squirrel climbing onto his vehicle as it was parked outside his home and discovered that the animal was filling the truck bed with a substantial amount of walnuts from a tree in his garden. Fisher told WDAY TV, a lot of places in the radiator fan all the way through here, that corner has been covered full with walnuts. It was planning on camping there for the winter. The man said that he has removed walnuts from various parts of his truck, but is still unable to reach some. Fisher shared, I had to pull the fenders off and clean all the walnuts out, and I had thought them all, and I thought I had them all, and took it down the road, turned the corner, and found one rolling inside the windshield where the wipers go. I have some rolling around the frame rails, frame rails wells as well oh that, that I can't get at. This squirrel fucked this man's truck with nuts. Yeah. 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 Squirrel he, nuts. He nutted all over that truck. Yeah. <laughs> like a bukkake. Uh, that's the only reason I told this story was so I could make that joke. The squirrel nutted all up in that truck. I think it's a good joke. It it as soon as I, I read the title, I was like, Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. Do you think instead of um watching porn, squirrels watch acorn? Ooh, I bet they do. I bet they do. Dirty little bastards. You little bitch. <laughs> yeah. You're naughty. You're naughty like Lana Del Rey. Crack that nut. Mm. Crack it good. Bang it on the surface of the ground. Like an otter. <laughs> Ooh, do you think they like switch over to otters too? What do you mean? Like they jerk off to otters? Yeah. Why isn't there it goes? Okay. Can squirrels jerk off? Can other animals? Well, dolphins. Can? Dolphins can dolphins don't have thumbs. Well, dolphins rape things to get off. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> dolphins right. are yeah. prolific <laughs> rapists. <laughs> dolphins are not a great animal. <laughs> and otters, they'll rape baby seals to death. I think we've been over that. Yeah. I think we have but, that. But for the new suds? Okay, now they know. Yeah. Now you'll know. Fuck Animal Planet. We're cutting edge of truth, baby. Yeah, otters rape baby seals to death for fun. They don't even get off on it. (laughs) Yeah, they don't even get off on it. They do it for fun. Hey, hey, Bill, what are you going to do today? Well, I 
was thinking I saw me a baby seal over there earlier. <laughs> oh, oh, Bill, I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm just going to go rape it. <laughs> Bill, excuse me? Yeah, I was going to do it for fun. Oh, don't forget your salt. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I mean, you're going to stop after a while. No, I'm going to fuck it to death. <laughs> I'm going to murder the fucker with my dick. He's like seven. <laughs> I just kept going. I, kept going. I just, I couldn't stop. It just, <laughs> it just, Kevin Spacey was watching me and forcing me to make love to this baby this seal. This makes so much sense now. Hey, Kevin Spacey, he wasn't in, into little boys. He was into baby seals and otters. Yeah, so he, okay, yeah. Was, I could have gone like a completely like weird direction and created some kind of cuck scenario, but yeah. I decided against it. I wish you had. Too much explaining. What, being cucked? I think. Well, I was going to say that Kevin bet, Spacey would marry the baby seals and then I be bet, like, hey, I like it whenever. I bet we, we've we got some cuck suds. We got cuck suds? I bet we have a cuck sud. Are they cucked and loaded? Damn, that was really good. Suds? <laughs> See, now you like you have an audience to like bounce things off of that will be receptive. Yeah, suds. Right? Yeah. If we have a cuck sud, please send us an email. For just to know, just for like yeah. confirmation. Yeah. At Adam, also Andy, at gmail.com. Let me know if you're a cuck. Just for like, just for science. Yeah. When we don't necessarily have to read your name or no, the no. email on here. We I just, like, there's a box and we'll yeah. be like, we received an email. Here's a check mark in that box. Yeah. It's like, boom, we got a cuck sud. And if we have any suds that are like into you're weird, so excited. that are like into weird shit or like have like really interesting jobs, tell us so that we can label. Like, hey, oh yeah, we've got a dominatrix sud. You have a you have a specific um, distinction in the sud community. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I would love that. I, uh, I would really like that. We're the boat captain suds. You know, whatever it might be. We're just kind of yeah. And this whatever, is you know? you know, right after talking about baby otters raping baby seals to death, uh, just send us an email letting us know what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> My God! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, on to our next story. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. <sighs> I can't. That was a lot, but I hey, this is an interesting story, and it's kind of on the heels of uh, a, a big political moment that occurred. Um, a, a Brit student stuck in Afghanistan and planned to travel to worse places in the world. Okay, well, I mean, immediate question, why? Uh, Miles Rutledge. Hayden, do you know Miles Rutledge? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone knows each other over there. Yeah. It's a small little island, the same thing, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, claims he is in a United Nations safe house after traveling to Afghanistan for a holiday just days after the Taliban takeover. Um, he hosted a live stream claiming to be in a safe house in Afghanistan. Um, oh, my God. Uh, he claims it. Okay. This, this is article sucks. It's like a bridge clued student claims to be stuck in Afghanistan after traveling there for a holiday. Oh, it's one up. of those where it repeats the title like four times. Yeah, four he's been ways. documenting his travels online. He claims he is now holed up in a United Nations safe house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the physics student um, who explained to social media followers he likes to explore the worst places in the world spoke to the Times from his hideaway as Taliban as the Taliban grabbed power in the capital city of Kabul. How, how was, Cabal? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, after previously posting enthusiastically about his travels, he told the newspaper he's now trying to f- uh, to flee and has accepted death as Taliban fighters took over the city. Jesus Christ. Um, earlier in the week, he claimed he had arrived in the country and shared photographs and smiling selfies featuring pictures of markets and local food. He gained a captive following as he described scenes from his travels on video streaming platform Twitch and message board 4chan. <gasps> Mm. But as the situation worsened, uh, he said he was forced to do a burqa disguise to flee to the airport in search of help as the situation in the capital worsened. He claimed he was confronted by insurgents near the airport who asked where he was from. I, this isn't really a funny story, Adam. Well. I don't really see the humor in this story. <laughs> He said 
he has spent the summer interning at a wealth management firm and told the newspaper, I like risk. I'm a banker, so it makes sense. So I'm gonna I hate lying around on a beach, so I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm gonna I wanna say something directly to you real quick if you're if you're newer, so I'd Welcome. This is a uh, typically what happens in this show because we don't preview our stories. He wrote online, I've bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> Sounds really similar to someone right now. And something has not gone to plan resulting in this situation. Jesus Christ. Just stop reading the story. <laughs> In an earlier post, he showcased God from a trip it. in Chernobyl two years ago. Great. You probably should have just stayed in Chernobyl. It's safer there. Gotten like a third nipple from the radiation or something. Oh, do you think it would have produced milk? Do you think that's how the guy with the really long nipples that our Sud saw earlier in the meme, do you think he was in Chernobyl? Do you think that's how he got his, like... That's got to be it. Like his massive, like, thumb-length nipples? What or if he do you think like, or what if he just had thumbs for nipples? Like opposable thumbs. What if he's a puppet? And those thumbs are from the puppet master pressing oh. through because he controls a mouth up here. Yeah, just, and maybe, he uses the thumbs to grab things. <laughs> just, <laughs> just just to hold it. Just, I need to be louder. <laughs> I found some humor here. There you go. You did it. Yeah. I found well, it. Hey, listen. Hey, long story short. It after was a the long, long story, story. Yeah, yeah. And I cut out a lot. Um, is that he's an idiot. Yeah. And um, yeah, don't just go to places because they're dangerous and you want to be like, hey, I want to show I went to dangerous places. Hey, I need you to talk to your friend here. Make sure he doesn't do this shit anymore. Yeah. Man. Hey, let's have a set, set intervention. Yeah. Hey, a sudvention. Oh, yeah, I messed that up. Yeah. You know what? In real life, if we ever get big enough, we can have a sudvention. Yeah. People can call us in to address important issues. I think, now, if it's like drugs and stuff, we can't do that. And we're just talking about like thumb nipples. Yeah. We, so we, like, like, we buy like fake chests that have them. And like we, so <laughs> if we like are doing a presentation, one of them has a laser pointer in it. <laughs> and we're just like pointing up. Yeah. Just, just kind of like, Push it down with our fingers to point at whatever we want. Just like, <laughs> just make make soft little sexual runs. Stop watching the football game. I don't know. It's, there's a lot going on. Two missed field goals and it's going into overtime. So it's Jesus um, Christ, Adam. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is why we shouldn't let. We should not have left the TV on. I. It's okay. I'm in now. I'm in. Adam and Andy, thumb nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did I lose attention? <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. We're talking about thumb nipples here. With laser pointers inside yeah. of them. Well, yeah, like the tip of the thumb has mm-hmm. a little laser pointer. You can just grab it. And, ding. and it, makes ding. Little, it makes little sounds. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> so I was telling Adam earlier, my insomnia has been kicking my absolute. Oh, yeah. This is my, a good uh, Andy detail. My absolute dick. It, um. I've had insomnia since high school. Mm-hmm. And over the course of the last week, I got probably eight hours total. And Thursday going into Friday, I got one hour of sleep. And then I've been up since 11 p.m. yesterday. Yeah. So I'm very fucking tired. And because I was just like so sedentary, like as I was doing that, like my side cramped up real mm. bad. Like a fucking like little baby Charlie horse. A little, a little baby seal. I was just about there to crack that joke. You need to club it. Well, no, I need a baby otter to come massage this out for me. Oh, okay. Just like hump it out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they squeak when they hump? I can almost guarantee that they squeak when they hump. Or, or it sounds like a turtle. Like the, <laughs> this is a very strange episode, and I love hey, it. Hey, welcome. I love it. This is a very strange episode, and I'm, I'm here for it. You ever see videos of Tiger Woods hitting a golf ball and stopping mid-swing? It's, I don't know how it's possible. I just did that here. Well, 
that's a little bit easier than what Tiger Woods was able to accomplish. And, you know, I am sad we'll never see him play golf again. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but, hey. Not that we support him in any way as a personal life kind of deal. He's just not proven to be a good and smart person there. No. But golf-wise. Yeah, golf-wise, he was... And very impressive. He was one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. Couple yeah. flip car by mistake during sex session. Oh, my God. That was so shocking. It made you burp. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I even had a drink here in a little bit. and then Yeah, it, just just, it forced it out of him. I'm going to read this like you read that last article. I'm going to torture everyone with this. <laughs> a teenage couple flipped their car during a sex session after the male driver released the e-brake in error. A couple having sex flipped their car when they released the brake in error. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the lovers, believed to be students, were romping in their Toyota Yaris when the, when the I incident happened. drive happen. a Toyota Yaris. Really? Yeah. Good, good car? or It's de- dependable. Very simple car. Easy to flip? I think so, yeah. When the incident happened and were stranded for 15 minutes until they received help from a passersby. That word has always confused me. I always thought it was passerby, but when you see it spelled out, it's passersby. Really? Why'd you ask that like that? That was uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Really? The car tumbled down an embankment before it ended up on its side in a dark country lane. The 18-year-old driver was in his boxers as he scrambled to find his clothes while his red-faced partner left the vehicle via the boot. Why did they have to include that detail that she was red-faced? Do you think she was red-faced from exertion? No, she was red-faced because she's... <clears throat> people are going to know that they were having sex and she's embarrassed of him. She's embarrassed of him? Yeah. So... What does he look like, Kevin Spacey or something? Like, why would you no, be embarrassed of your lover? He's like a mix of <clears throat> of um, Steve Buscemi <laughs> and uh, Flavor Town guy. I forget his fucking name too. So I, I was hoping you were going to go like Steve Buscemi and I was trying. Oh, I, okay, let's just do like um, the My Pillow guy. Oh. I was trying to be like bigger, maybe like. Um, Could you imagine if the my pillow guy looked just like he does now, but he had the butthole eyes like Steve Buscemi? Would he sell more pillows? He'd see more pillows. He would see more pillows. Wow, he- guys, we made like we sold like twenty pillows, dude. We sold ten. Isn't that funny? A friend told the Sun newspaper, it was like a scene from the in-betweeners. We were meant ah. to be meeting him that night, but he, but he took this girl up to Worksworth in Derbyshire. It's very ro- romantic up there. He put on some music and they started doing it. Suddenly the girls yelled. Girls? Yeah, that's a detail they don't expound upon. Suddenly the girls yelled, the car's moving. Is a threesome? It, what it sounds like. He wasn't concentrating that much. He didn't notice the handbrake. That's where the article ends. <laughs> <laughs> it it drops the bomb that they're doing a uh, a female female male threesome. Yeah. And then it just ends on the very unconcerned note that he wasn't really concentrating that much on the handbrake. No. He was concentrating on his handbrake. Ah, his gear shift, if you will. Indeed. If yeah. a girl ever jerked my dick off like a gear brake, I think I'd immediately break up with her. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, don't try to break my dick, ma'am. You should. Um, I, I like my dick. You should ask the community if anyone likes that, right? Since you've already asked before if anyone is, into, is a cuck. Oh, you should so, ask if anyone likes to be a gear shift dick. Yeah, do we have a gear shift? Sud? It's just what we're going to call him. Yeah. Gearshift Sud. Gearshift Sud. Emails. Yeah. <laughs> Adam also Andy at gmail.com. And tell us about it. Tell us about your weird gearshift fetish. <laughs> like in excruciating detail. 
Send us a video. <laughs> what if it's like, well, so what if there's like different model of a car? Like, okay, yeah, I'm a Toyota Yaris. Okay, yeah, I'm a truck driver. So it's like different now. So it's like, you yeah, know, pull from different spots. Okay, now I'm a, a city bus. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's breaking the dick off. And then big nipples and they treat him like a big steering wheel. It's like, <laughs> One one hand, you know, doing yeah. doing both, and then one is like kind of doing that, and then just like like jerking the dick around <laughs> as you're just pulling the nipple down. Like, Get me over to Elm Street. Get me over to Elm Street. You're only saying that because you just watched Nightmare on yeah, Elm Street. Yeah, well, that's the that's just the street name that was in my head. Yeah. So Adam uh, just watched Nightmare on Elm Street for the first time, right? Yeah. Yeah, for the very first time. Have you ever seen the Friday the Thirteenth movies? I mean, man, I hope so. Right, I have a tattoo on my leg. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about your tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Have, <clears throat> have you watched Midnight Mass? No, but that's, that's recent, like Netflix thing, right? And it's like the Bly House and yeah. the Haunting of- Mike Flanagan. Yeah. I, I need you to watch it tonight, like today. It is, in my opinion, the best thing Netflix has ever put out. Ever. Ever. Ever put out. Yes. There are, I'm not ashamed to admit this, there are two scenes in that series. One is in the fourth episode. One is a very finish where I just openly cried. Like weeping. Yes. Like, wow, this is so sad. Yes. It is incredible. Suds? I'll put it on my watch list. No, you're going to watch it today. Oh, I have to? Yes. You're not going to regret this. What if I do? You won't. Maddie will enjoy it too. Okay. Yeah. Suds, you too. Y'all need to watch Midnight Mass. And write us an email about it. Tell, us, tell me your thoughts. Tell me, tell me your woes. Tell me your thoughts about are God. We gonna, so are we going to like turn into like a, um, like a self-help podcast you know in what regard are we leading up to being a self-help podcast oh i i feel like you know we're, we're, we could say hey reach out to us and then we say hey uh reach out to us with questions and then the, the next step on that is hey reach out to us with issues no if you have issues go see a fucking therapist or a professional yeah i'm not here to fix anyone i can't even fix myself i'm not obviously i ain't working to fix <laughs> i ain't working to fix anyone else i've i've in my personal like relationship life, I have a horrible habit of like finding women who are damaged in some way, shape, or form. Which is why your reality show is damaged goods. Yes. And yeah. like trying to fix them. Gotta stop doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta find someone who Who is a complete Lego set. Yes. Yes. Not have pieces missing. That was a fucking great analogy right there. That was that was perfect. That was spot fucking on. Thanks, dude. That was great. But Suds, don't email us with issues. See a fucking professional. Yeah, go, actually, I'll back this up. Yeah, okay. go to, a, yeah. like, a therapist. I, just, I was just, you know, I, found, I saw a moment I thought it could be funny, and I wasn't. No, I shot the fucking wheels off it immediately. Hey, I'm about to drink a s'mores beer. S'mores? <laughs> you okay? Oh, I don't have a glass for you. Yeah, I was looking for a glass. Is Either there anything Southern in one. the Georgia Southern? No, it's empty. Or there's that um, water cup up there, but I've more recently been drinking out of that. Because I would love to try yeah. a sip of s'mores. It's a stout, yeah. Be careful. You're in front of my. You can go in front of my camera if you want. You can like look, put your face like right in there. Yeah, yeah. You dirty girl. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I describe things as nasty, I like to follow it up with like Lana Del Rey. Yeah, what, what are your impressions of her? I, I think, you know, um, oh, if you're seething, it's just like water. Yeah, marks. it's just like dust and shit. Yeah, um, that you know, she's a she. I wouldn't say damaged, but she's had a rough life, right? She's she's had people break her heart. She comes from an incredibly wealthy family. I don't think she's had that much trouble in life. Yeah, you know, Maddie. She's a big fan. Is she? Yeah. Let's get her in here. Start screaming her name. <laughs> Maddie! <laughs> Maddie! Hey, Maddie! Oh my God, that's dark. Yeah. You want some more? No, nah, that'll okay. be good. It's 
smells nothing like s'mores. Yeah, I'll be honest, and you can have your first impression, but it won't. It's not as super crazy as any other Martin House stuff. No, but it is better. It's it's it. Yeah, well, it it's got that chocolate mm-hmm. for sure. Oh, and the marshmallow aftertaste. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Even better than a cereal. Cereal marshmallows are shit. Yeah. They really are. Who in the fucking world let that happen? Uh, someone who, who was trying to penny pinch. Who said, yeah, marshmallows, nice squishy little things. Eh, chocolate work. Yeah. Let's make them as hard as humanly possible. And mm-hmm. if they go stale, you're probably going to break a tooth on them. Yeah, you can't sue us, though. It's your fault for not taking care of your teeth and eating sugary food. Yeah. Ooh. Fucking idiot. God, you fucking dumb kid. Man, I thought you were going to go, God, you fucking dumb cunt. Oh, <laughs> imagine a, a Kellogg executive saying that to a 10-year-old. Yeah, you <laughs> dumb cunt. This is on you. You shouldn't eat my cereal. Now get in there with the baby Dumbass. otter. <laughs> get in there. Put on the seal costume. You cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and all, all the, the kid did is like, why are the marshmallows so hard? Like, fuck you, you cunt. <laughs> Get in there with my baby otters. <laughs> Did you eat your seal food? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> just has a room of baby otters that he just gives kids to. No, but what it is, it's not a room of baby otters. It's basically Tusk, but baby otter kids. Oh. All the kids have been turned into baby otters. Oh. No, baby seals. Sorry. And so then, they're turning into baby seals, and then he sicks the otters on yeah, the 10-year-old in kids. In the big playpen, yeah. <laughs> in the Kellogg's <laughs> factory. Yeah, the Kellogg's rape den that, I mean, everyone knows everyone Kellogg's knows has it. rape dens. I mean. Yeah. I mean, hey, it, it was invented to prevent people from masturbating. Yeah. Look it up. It's true. Yeah. Cornflakes, I'm sorry. Cornflakes specifically were created to stop men from masturbating. Really? Yeah. I, I'm not kidding. Walk me through the, the thought process. Okay, so here. they were invented by uh, this reverend, last name was Kellogg, um, as basically an anti-masturbatory thing. He thought eating them wouldn't wouldn't make that desire come up after having it. And oh, it's crazy. I just, I late, late 1800s or like early 1900s, one of their, um, and then his brother, who was a businessman, was like, well, if I add a little bit of sugar to this, I can sell it. And I mean, I just, I get uber horny when I eat frosted wheats. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's like the opposite. Aren't those little, like, mini wheats real cute, though? You know, it, you know? It's the opposite effect for me. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll be sitting there, like, gear shifting my dick with one hand as I'm, like, spooning and shoveling. Oh, I need more milk. Yeah. Oh, I need some protein on this. <laughs> Let's just move on to the final story. Good Lord. We really milked it, didn't we? Yes. Um, I think this is an appropriate appropriate one to end on. <clears throat> okay. Because so actually I found it recently and I added it today because I was like, well, you know, why not? Yeah, why not? A man developed restless anus syndrome after contracting COVID. What? what? Following his recovery from the virus, he experienced deep anal discomfort. I'm already loving where this is going. A seven-year-old man is on the mend after developing a condition that doctors have termed restless anal syndrome. Does that mean like he has to fuck his ass like constantly? Uh, He started noticing symptoms after he recovered from COVID, developing a constant need to poop. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, there's not a better feeling on the planet than a good poop. Well, okay, uh, even when he went number two, he still didn't, still didn't feel relief, so it was endless. A constant need to poop. That is a special hell. Yeah, it is. That is, um... Hmm. Boring and scientifically speaking, um... 
he also had restless leg syndrome, so they think that you know you constantly need to move your legs. Well, his anus constantly needed to be moved, so that's what was going on. Man, I feel bad for those people with restless leg syndrome. Yeah, and yeah, me too. That's such a what about restless anus syndrome? I mean, this is the first time hearing about it. I don't feel bad for the guy. No, that's true. It doesn't sound like he hit rock bottom. Well, you came up with that real fast. I don't like how you <laughs> wagged your eyebrows at me like immediately after. It looked like fucking Ethan Klein with his Tourette's right there. <laughs> That's not nice. That's not nice. Hey, what? He openly admits he has Tourette's. He's, yeah, he's fully aware. That's true. Yeah, he Could, knows it, it's a thing. See, here's the thing, Suds. Now, I love Ethan Klein. Ways to be respectful. I see the opportunity to make a restless anus joke about Ethan's face. Mm. But I'm not going there. A, oh, God, what would that be? A restless face muscle syndrome? No, I mean, you just say like, oh, he, he's an ass face. Is the, What would be the joke? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not. So that's not funny. No, and he's like a genuinely good person. Yeah. Unlike Steve Crowder. Fuck you, Steve Crowder. Who's Steve Crowder? Oh, you've, you've got some learning to do. And I got some watching to do, apparently. You love giving me homework. You're going to actually enjoy this homework. Oh, okay. I guarantee it. I still got to watch Squid Game. Put that I on hold. Caught up on Ozark. Ozark's coming out with season four. Never seen Ozark. Can I give you homework? Will you watch that? Sure. You won't watch Tiger King, though. I already did. You did? Yeah. When did you watch? Huh? When did you watch Tiger King? Months ago. You always told me. You were, like, so fervently, like, oh. I'm fully, fully fucking aware, but the most recent ex was adamant. She, you know, I wanted to watch a horror movie one night, and she said, okay, I'll watch a horror movie with you, and she loved horror movies. But she said, in order for us to watch a horror movie, you're going to watch Tiger King. episode one of Tiger King with me. And you thought? It was fucking excellent. I watched, we watched the entire series that night. Yeah. It was excellent. I pulled an all-nighter watching Tiger King. And you know what? I'm glad I waited so long. Yeah, you guys, so you like you savored it. Yeah, like I don't, I don't regret waiting like a year and a half after it came out to watch it. Yeah, and thinking you're like, I wouldn't be surprised if Joe Exotic has a restless anus syndrome. I bet he does. He's got restless tooth syndrome. Tooth. Yeah. Well, I guess his employees did because all, all, all oh, I see, all their teeth popped out. Yeah. <laughs> You know, mom always said alligators is, is so ornery because they got so many teeth and no toothbrush. <laughs> so people like recovering meth addicts, or just meth addicts in general, are not angry because they have less teeth and no toothaches. Mm, yeah. And there's a, a story I have for next week that directly relates to teeth. That's mm. a tease ahead, suds. I'm teething at the bits. Hey, so is my nephew. Oh. Yeah. That's sweet. He just turned one. Mm. Yeah. Keep him away from the otter. <laughs> yeah. I'm, he'll never see an otter until he's at least 18. Oh. <laughs> your entire life. You and your brother are putting so much effort into keeping him away from zoos. Yeah. Away from, from seeing otters. otters. Yeah, exactly. And you're just like, uh-uh, not yet, not yet. Because we're just scared they're going to think he's a baby seal and somehow get out of the enclosure. So wait, hold on. Okay, I think it's fair. This has basically just become the otter show. Mm-hmm. Or wait, what was um uh, uh PB and J right? Was that was the otter cartoon? I think I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. PB and J otter, that's what it is. Cool. That and I wish nothing. you knew. I'd be like, okay, did they rape baby seals? But um, yes, if they're otters, yes, they did. <laughs> what did the What did the big otters think? I'm not sorry. The big baby, big seals, not big baby, <laughs> big baby seals. What, <laughs> what do the big baby seals think? <laughs> What did the big seals think when they saw this happen? Did they just, like, let it happen? And they go, this is our sacrifice to the otter gods. I imagine they probably uh, didn't rape these baby seals in front of big seals. What if they did out of pride? Oh. Or. They're like, hey, hey, big dick on rock right here. You sound like fucking Rick right there. Oh, from. Hey, Morty. (laughs) Hey, Morty. Hey, big dick on rock right here. Big dick on rock. 
Oh, 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 Rick. Oh, you should get away from that baby seal. No, Rick. Or no, Morty. <laughs> no, Morty. I'm going to help him. I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to help the otter <laughs> fuck the seal. It's the only way I get off anymore. Oh, Rick, I don't think you should. Get over here, Morty. <laughs> put, put, put on this. <laughs> put, on, yeah, put on this seal costume, Morty. We need to entice them. We need to get- Dude, the... Did you ever watch the like original, original Rick and Morty pilot? I think so. It, it was pretty popular when it, when the where, pilot came where in. Where yeah. Rick forced Morty to suck his dick to get the 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 DeLorean to work to time travel. He he convinced his grandson to suck him off to completion, and then the final like forty five seconds is just Morty. Slowly going out of frame, and then you just hear dick sucking sounds. Incest in a pilot, and it got picked up, and it's massively popular. Yeah, it's impressive. We should talk about incest more often. Well, we do. Uh, go back and listen to I don't know what it is, but share shit pants. Yeah, with his whole family in Alabama. Yeah, is that just what you do in Alabama? You <laughs> shit your pants and fuck your sister. This is so the weirdest. <laughs> hey, we got all these listeners now. What should we talk about? Um, Otters raping baby seals to death. and Yeah, a lot. A, a sheriff in Alabama shitting his pants and plugging his sister. Sheriff shit pants here. If you aren't filling your pants, you're not doing it right. Was that the, the voice we, we gave mm-hmm. him? For sheriff shit pants, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we made him sound like big Tex. Oh, really? Yeah. That was, you're, I think you're the one. Sheriff shit pants here. Welcome to the Texas State Fair. Welcome to Alabama where you can plug my sister while I plug my sister. And then we can flip a Toyota Yaris. <laughs> Let's have a devil's threesome. Adam and Andy devil's threesome. No, I'm thinking it's got to be Adam and Andy Otter Show. Otter Show, okay, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, for sure. For sure, Otter Show. Should it be O D D E R? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> I thought I mean, you'd be on board with that. We could really just make the episode title Otters Rape Baby Seals to Death. <laughs> That'd be great for analytics. Yeah. You know, it's like all these people have come on board. Oh, this is the kind of place this is. Yeah. Man, I'm going to have, my brother's going to have so many fucking weird notes about this episode. Because he, he loves to give because me his, what his are you thoughts. What doing? You keep talking about the same thing. Yeah. He, we just talked about a guy that was trapped in Afghanistan, and it turned into honors raping baby seals. And then we talked about um, a guy with restless anus syndrome, and it turned into otters raping baby <laughs> seals. <laughs> I don't know why it was such a popular topic, but I mean. Guys, how would you keep doing this? Okay, hold on. Let's test it. Um, okay. Um you guys started talking about um, a cornbread recipe. Oh, my God. Otters raping baby seals. <laughs> Where do you think they they got the, the cornbread from? <laughs> cornholing. Yeah. They cornholed the seal. Yeah. Yeah. They threw the, the beanbag in. <laughs> God damn it. That was really good. That was really good. That was really good. Um, I don't think there's any more. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. I legitimately think half of this was us talking about that topic. I would not be surprised. This is one I will thoroughly enjoy listening back on. <laughs> Suds, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> for staying. Yeah. Um. Thanks. Mm, you know, uh, fifty-one. F- this is a bit. This is a big thing, right? Um, fifty-one. I mean, the Otter Show. The Otter Show. It, um, and instead of a donkey show, it's an Otter Show. We have done the donkey show, right? Yeah. So now we're the Otter Show. Yeah. I wonder what kind of thumbnail I'm going to craft out of this. It's going to be great. I need you to put me in a baby seal outfit. <laughs> and me. Menace. Huh? Wait, uh, who is it? B, right? Yeah. Is the one who wants to. You want them to do fan art. Well, they don't have their tablet yet, so they well, can't do the art yet. B, once you get your tablet, I want you to make Adam an otter and make me a baby seal. Your rule 34. My rule 34. Is has now come to life. It will come to life. I hope so. It will come to life. I hope so. And, you know, bless 
Piper's heart. I've I I tried to get her to draw me in a, a chicken outfit, like you know, like mm-hmm. the absurd yeah. chicken outfit. But I told her. I need you to draw me naked first and then put the costume on me. <laughs> you get the proportions right everywhere. <laughs> and she fucking refused. She was all on board. With, yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely draw you in a chicken suit. Yeah, but there's also one more thing. I have one request. I need you to draw me naked and then put the suit on top of me. Yeah. And she just kept asking, why? You're not even going to see your own naked body. I'm like, that's not the fucking point. Yeah. Hey, the- you know what? Just because... You can't see that it's there. That doesn't mean it isn't. Yeah. Fargo season one. Hey, son, just because there aren't dragons on the map don't mean they're there. Boom. Not there. I messed up. Whatever. Same. Yeah, same idea. They got it. Sides, hey, hello. Welcome to the end of the show. This is it. Hi, that was really good. Hey, hey, hello. Welcome to the end of the show. Hey, hey, hello. Welcome to the end of the show. I like that. Thank you. I'm going to keep it forever. Um, Go ahead. Like all the other suds, we love emails. Yes. Favorite things to receive. They are incredibly validating. And one thing I guess I should make a note of is Adam, also Andy, all one word. Yes. No periods, dots, slashes, dashes, whatever. Adam, also Andy, at gmail.com. Go ahead and give us a listen on Spotify, iTunes. Leave us a five-star review if you are on iTunes. I think it is important to start mentioning that again. Please. Get the analytics in support of us. You want to see us grow? Five stars, that's the ticket to happiness. You know what? Not just on iTunes. Give us a review on every form of social media if you want to watch us grow. Where else can you leave a review? Well, you couldn't leave a review anywhere. You can't leave a review on Spotify. You, I'm pretty sure you, you can. You can do a review on YouTube. Yeah, you can. It's called pressing that motherfucking like button and subscribing. I, oh, no. Oh, my God. This is the perfect time. Here we go. All the way up. I like this. I like this. Oh, my God. Yes. That. You do that when you click the like button. I wish so we need to. I, know, I was talking to one of my buddies yesterday, and you know he was talking about Twitch, and you know who knows we might create that as an adventure, whatever. But whenever That's like down someone, the line. yeah, yeah. Know, whenever someone follows or does whatever, I like this. That's fucking great. That's what that's what it that's like. really good. I just had the idea right now. That's really good. Um, yeah. So listen to us on Spotify and iTunes and Google Podcasts, anywhere else you can find us. Go ahead and interact with us social media wise. You can see all of our things on Facebook, Instagram. I'm leaving. One on the very end for a reason. TikTok, which is our most popular, almost 3,000 followers on there too. Go us. Hell yeah. Thank you for watching and enjoying. Lastly, Twitter. Now all four of those, at Adam, also Andy. But Twitter, I think I figured out what, what it is. What do you mean? Forever I've been like, okay, you know, here's, here's an episode, here's a clip, and putting that on Twitter. I don't even have a Twitter, so I, I don't know. The benefit of having the Twitter is more so actually for someone to reach out to us and us interacting with them. Okay. Just in like kind of like a quick fire, like, hey, here's a conversation kind of deal. So if you want to tweet at us, we'll be happy to respond to any quick inquiries or statements or anything. He'll be happy. I'll be happy. At Adam Also Andy. Lastly, you can go to our website, adammashandy.com, where we are going to, at some point, be working on the top 100 songs of all time, certified by the truth tellers, Adam and Andy. Yep. The cutting edge of motherfucking truth. That's right. And, and because we both love music so goddamn much, it's going to be incredibly biased choices. <laughs> biased and objective. Maybe his. Though I guess in the end, we both have to agree on yeah. the list. So. Yeah. And I think we can take up all demographics. We cover the whole spectrum. We do, in fact, cover the entire spectrum of music, except for country. I will not allow country in John Cash in there. He's more folk than country. Lee Nelson? Who? Willie Nelson. Oh, I thought you said Lee Nelson. No. Nah, I don't really care for Willie. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Lots of conversating to go on. Yeah. Um, okay, I have nothing else to add. No, I don't. Okay, well, hey, suds. Like I said, chapter two. What? <laughs> yeah, a chapter two of something. Um, I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Thanks, guys. <laughs>